Welcome back, everyone. It is time for this week's Pet Connection. You can find out how you can adopt an adorable pet from a local shelter. Joining us is Hannah Orenstein from the Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Shelter and Adoption Center here in Springfield. And you brought with you a cat appropriately named Mr. Friendly. That's correct. And Art. he is friendly. He's so friendly. That's why our staff named him Mr. Friendly. Um, he's a three-year-old neutered male, uh, domestic short hair, orange and white kitty. He arrived at TJO last week. Mm -hmm. He actually came in from a feral colony, which is a group of unowned cats. Wild cats. Correct. Yeah, that were being fed by a good Samaritan. Um, but when he arrived at the shelter, we learned that he's super, super friendly and not a wild cat. Almost to the point where he actually craves being with he's people. He's a total lap cat. Very yes. friendly. Yes. And you see him there. He's been needing that little bed since he yes. got in. Which is interesting because this bed probably smells like dogs and he's totally not bothered by it. That's a good is, segue. Right. As far as uh, maybe households looking to get a cat, would he do well with maybe a dog or another cat yeah. or young children? Yeah, I think he's a really cool cat. I think he'd fit in in almost any home environment, whether that's with young kids, other cats, dogs, young folks, old folks. Um, he's just an easygoing guy and I think he just He's wants, an old shoe. He yeah. just gets along with everybody. Everyone, everything. Thing, just needs a lap to sit on. Uh, about three years old, you said. Any known health issues no, we need to be aware no, of? No, our vet neutered him and um, they didn't find any outstanding medical, so he's ready to go. And I can't believe you actually got a leash and a harness on him, which it's says tricky. something about his it's temperament. It's tricky, yes. He was very tolerant. Most cats are not tolerant <laughs> of a leash and a harness. He is tolerant. He has been fixed, you said? Correct. He's already neutered, vaccinated, he's ready to go. And now he does shed. We should mention that. He does. He's shedding a lot right now, uh, and that's most likely because he's been outdoors and he's now indoors, so he probably just needs a good grooming. Okay, so you may want to groom him if you want to pick up Mr. Friendly. Yes. As far as getting him, what are the hours if folks want to swing by and yeah. pick him up quickly? Yep, we're open Mondays, Tuesdays, Saturdays, and today, 2 to 7. 2 to 7. We had did a story over the weekend, Hannah, we were talking about how many dogs were picked up. Yes. Uh, but most of them have been recovered by their owners, so that's not an issue right that's now. That's correct. Many of those dogs have already gone home. But a good reminder to keep an eye on your pets, make sure they don't roam, and also make sure they're spayed and neutered. Spayed, neutered, have ID tags and microchips. It's permanent identification in case that collar falls off. In case they get loose, right, and then you know who to contact. Absolutely. Thank you. And Thank hopefully you. we don't see Mr. Friendly anymore. No. If you want a wonderful cat, this is the cat for you.